my hero characters if they were your sibling. Straight up, this person is the best sibling. They hang out with you, they make you food, they talk to you. So underrated. You're always stealing your clothes, your phone charger, your food. You're forgiven. You never see them because they're always out hanging out with other people. I want to join her though. <laughs> you guys don't always get along very well, but they're always there if you need them. I want to get along with her. That's an insult. <laughs> they hate you, but they want nothing to do with you at all. Why am I not surprised though? <laughs> My hero character said they had to babysit Eri all night long. This person's making cookies with her, they're doing skincare, they're watching movies. I can see that. They went out of their way to buy matching pyjamas for them and Eri. That's so cute. This person lost track of time and kept Eri up all night long. <laughs> I guess that kind of makes sense to be honest. This person makes a blanket fort with her with pillows and snacks and fairy lights. He would just were. Uh... They have a secret stuffed toy collection and they let Eri use every single one. We're doing that last one again because who let him babysit? I can see him having like a massive pile to be honest. I could honestly make nine parts of this, so if you want part two, let me know. Building My Hero Academia life, you can make it a pause game if you want to. Starting off, what's your quirk? I like that. Who's your parent? She would be the best one though. Who's your other parent? That's your sibling. Who's your parent? Now that is a ship I haven't seen, and I've seen a lot. Who's your best friend? And who are you in a relationship with? Actually blessed, but who hates you? My hero characters at the cinema. They are talking the whole time the movie is playing. Like the entire time. He would, wouldn't he? They're munching on popcorn the whole time and not taking their eyes off the screen. That's cute though. This person needs a toilet every two minutes. Like they are constantly getting up and getting in the way. Really? They spent the whole movie on their phone. That is rude. They fell asleep. Imagine the workers just walk in and the bird is just sleeping in the back. Both on house arrest. Four days for Bakugo and three for Midoriya. During that time, you'll clean all the common areas in the door morning and night. Plus, I want a written apology. If your injuries need to be checked out, head to the infirmary. But don't rely on the old lady's quirk this time. Figure out a way to heal yourselves. Okay. Starting today, we'll resume our regular classes and training schedule. I know a lot has happened recently. However... You need to switch gears and focus on your school duties. We're lecturing today, but this semester you'll have even harsher training than before. He can't mean that, right? Like to share, Hashido? <laughs> His icy stare is back! This is how they are as parents. They're the best parent and they get compliments every single day. That's a bit shocking. <laughs> they have no idea what they're doing. They're just trying to keep the kid alive. Oh. I think he'd actually be a great parent, but this person just spoils their kids. He would. They show their kid off to all their friends because their kid is the best. I agree. And they are the most supportive parent you'll ever meet. Oh, they're so cute. How they react to this character becoming a villain. That is not okay. <laughs> They're giving him nothing but support. They're like, you're going to be the best villain ever. He's hyping up his brain, they're so cute. They couldn't be more disappointed in Kirishima. This person's actually happy about it. Of course you are. You get another villain on your side. They're excited because they now have a reason to beat him up. Why? And they're understandably very confused. Why do you want to beat him up though? 
It's the bad guy. Oh, no. <laughs> What's this foolish child saying? <laughs> oh, I told her that UA has its bad parts and that you represented one of its downsides. I'm sorry, I'm a man who follows the path of peace and justice. How dare you malign me, uh, sir? Power works like yours. Both of your quirks function as stockpilers. I copied the core nature of the quirk itself. But if it's an ability that accumulates something and changes it into a form of energy, I don't copy the stored up fuel that would make it function. Draw these blanks every once in a while. I've done what they do when you tell them you're feeling down, but these are things that you can do if they tell you they're feeling down. I can't tell you how many times I've failed to say that. <laughs> All you need to do is give them a tight hug and tell them it's going to be okay. Just listen to them while they talk about everything that's on their mind. That's going to be a journey. You don't have to do a single thing. Just sit next to them and be there. Gladly. Honestly, just get them a pack of cookies and they'll be on top of the world. Ah. Just talk to them about your day or something you enjoy and they'll slowly start smiling. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. But I will do it for this person. Yeah. <laughs> Puppy, kitten and bunny. And now we're going to do what they'll be like if you give them a hamster. They're just in awe over its cute little face. Darby likes hamsters apparently. They give it lots of food to fill their cheeks. That is such a cute thought. <laughs> this person's worried it's gonna bite them. You know what? I don't blame you, they don't let go. They want to buy it a huge cage of all the tunnels that go around. I can see her running a hamster to be honest. They put it in a hamster ball so it can run around and have fun. see this like put this in the anime i need to see it happen my hero characters if you tell them you love them they smile happily and say they love you too oh they just freeze and turn bright red he actually would they don't say anything but they think about it for the rest of the day i love that they just stare at you in pure shock oh bless you they smirk at you and just go, I know. That is horrifying. They laugh and say that'll change soon. No, it won't. My hero characters, if you made them their favourite meal. They give you a tight hug and enjoy every single bite. Shinto hugs. They're shocked you even care to remember what their favourite meal is. My voice just went weird. People complain when he comes up, but I actually love him. They look at the food before staring at you in awe. You're welcome. They refuse to eat it until they can make you your favourite meal and you can eat together. I will not be eating with you. They act like it's not as good as when they make it, but they want you to make it every single day for them. I would gladly. What's this? Also, she is the background noise in all of my videos. People were begging for part 2, so now they trigger one for this video because this is how they react if they find out you still have found part 2. Like I said in my last video, this is a very sensitive and serious topic and it's only being made because I know it can help someone feel better and feel comforted. But this is very serious and if you do struggle with it, please do tell someone. They're trying their best to stay calm and ask if it's okay for them to check over everything to make sure nothing's infected. I love her so much. <laughs> their whole face just drops into a sad, hurt expression because they feel so bad you had to go through that, especially alone. Are we gonna cry? I think I'm gonna cry. They're filled with guilt for not noticing sooner. I wonder I'm gonna cry. <laughs> They make sure you feel comfortable before asking questions about it and how you're feeling and how it makes you feel so they can work to making you actually feel better. My hero characters, if they wake up and their quirk was gone, part two. They wake up and they might just be half asleep, but they don't notice. How would you not notice your tail is gone? They notice, but they're okay with it. This happened in the last video. <laughs> They're ready to commit murder until they get it back. I support you. They realise it's gone, but they're like, it's alright for now. You would be killing everybody. 
And this person just feels better that they don't have to deal with their quirk anymore. Today I want to do like an options game. So you've got three options, but you can only choose one. And it's all kind of a relaxed evening kind of vibe. Option one, you could like set the candles, order food and have a skincare night with this person. He needs it. Option two, you're going to make dinner together, stargaze for a while and then cuddle in bed with Kiri. Option three, you're going to go to the shop and get loads of snacks and grab your blankets and have a movie night in front of the fireplace with Toga. Can you imagine? I need to start writing. I want to build another My Hero character, but it's going to be a villain this time. Like before, we're starting off with this person's hair. I actually like his hair. I actually really like his eyes too, to be honest. But we're taking this person's eyes. Wait, her with blonde hair. I kind of love it. <laughs> I think I like it so far. But we've got this person's smile. Oh, They're going to be a very lovable villain. <laughs> They've got this person's personality. Can I actually make them a villain? And to end, they've got this person's quirk. I like it. This character's the reason they're a villain. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> we're creating a new My Hero villain because you guys seem to love when I do that. As always, we're taking their hair. Kiri's hair and this person's eyes. I love it. This is their smile. Why do I always make such wholesome villains? They have the personality of this person. How is this a villain? Why does this always happen? And of course their quirk. I love them. They have a very similar backstory to this person. I think I'm about to make a bunch of OCs. My hero characters, if you wrap your arms around them tightly and refuse to let go. Ignore my hair, I still haven't brushed it. They look down at you and give you head pats. Is that a threat? They immediately push you off. I am offended. They smile brightly and give you the tightest hug. Are you smiling? Is that a good thing? They look down at you and ask if you're okay. I freaking love him. They tense up and look at you very confused. You know what, I can see that, but that's adorable. This is what they do when they find out people write fanfiction about them part two. They read it just to leave comments like, you got that fact wrong. I wouldn't do that. He's going and correcting everyone. They find the most embarrassing story of their friends and send it to them. As mean. <laughs> it's quite funny though. They read it to leave nice comments like, I love your writing, this was a great story. They're so cute. They look up stories about themselves, but they are angry people shipping with someone they don't like. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> You go to UA, but you have the exact same quirk as them, and this is how they react. This person is furious and actually accuses you of copying their quirk. How do you just copy a massive tail? <laughs> this person actually loves that they're not the only one with their quirk. Oh, that's actually kind of sad. They're like, I'm going to show everyone I'm better than you. You're not better than anyone. They don't mind it, but they're secretly a little bit upset. I can't deal with a sad Nina. <laughs> they just straight up deny that you have the same quirk. They're like, they're completely different. Shut up. 